guys and welcome to today's vlog. I thought it'd be fun to do a week in my life and I thought it'd be especially fun to do this week because this is the first week of 2022. So I'm starting this vlog off on Tuesday and I just received two very exciting packages. The first package is from my friend Taylor. She surprised me with some book mail. So I will show you guys that in a little while. And then the other package is from Princess Polly. A huge thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video. I do have a discount code for you guys. You can use the code Abigail20 for 20% off your purchase. And the really nice thing about Princess Polly is that they ship from within the US. They have free express shipping, which is three to four days to the US on orders over $50. They also offer after pay and shop pay to all US customers. So while I was creating these outfits, I was kind of picturing myself going to the bookstore in spring. That was kind of my overall theme for this because I practically live at the bookstore and I spend a lot of my free time there. So hopefully this will give you some outfit inspo. I think this is genuinely my favorite haul I have ever done because I feel like especially in the past year, I have really kind of discovered my my own style. I've always had like an idea of what my style is, but I just feel like especially in the past year, my style has really grown with me, if that makes sense. So starting with what I have on, I have this green cardigan and I love this shade of green. I feel like it's kind of like a matcha latte, which is kind of my go-to drink right now. I just love the fit of it and it's also a nice thick material and to go along with this I have a little butterfly necklace and to go with this I have a denim skirt this is going to be my go-to thing for spring for summer it's just such a great staple item it also fits me really really well and I love the slit on the side it has a little zipper in the back and I love the style of that skirt so much that I actually got it in the oatmeal shade as well. There are a bunch of different colors. I think I might actually end up using my own discount code to get the white one too. <laughs> but I just love this skirt and this also has the side slit and it has the zipper in the back. And to go with this one, I have paired it with this blue fuzzy cardigan. I absolutely love this color and this is so incredibly soft it's very cozy and to go with that I have this little pair of ruffle socks and I think these are adorable I just think these look so cute so feminine next up is this white ribbed top and this is another great staple item to have in my wardrobe I love how thick the material is and this is also really great for layering so to go along with this I have paired this with this beautiful beige dress and I think this is so pretty I think it's so romantic and I love the little roses on it and I can't remember if I said this in my last video or maybe it was the video before but I just love florals and I feel like florals are going to be my thing for 2022 and to go along with that I have these white heels I also think these look very romantic and the nice thing about these is they are slip on they're very quick and easy to put on and the heels are just right they're not too high not too low they're very comfortable to walk in which is like my number one thing when it comes to heels and I think this will look so cute with not only dresses but also skirts and even jeans too. Next is this really cute pink cardigan and I absolutely love this shade of pink. This is just so sweet and I also absolutely love 
the detailing on the sleeves it has little ruffles and I think that's so unique and so cute and to go along with that I have this beige tank top and I feel like this is something I will wear so so much this is a nice thick material I think this would look great under any cardigan and I have paired this with a white ruffle skirt it is so comfortable it has an elastic waistband this is also double lined which is really great because that way it's not see-through and I just think this is so cute and so playful next up is another cardigan but this one is more of a chunky knit and I am obsessed with this I I love the colors and this kind of reminds me of Luna Lovegood. I think it's so whimsical, so magical, and it's definitely a statement piece. And with this, I have paired it with the white rib top and the denim skirt. And this is super cozy. And to go along with that, I have some accessories. I have these two claw clips. I wear claw clips every single day. I think they are such a quick and easy way to put your hair up. I use them when I'm getting ready for bed and I'm washing my face. And then I also use them in the morning if I'm just like running to grab a coffee and I think it's really cute to do like half up half down hairstyles with these they look really cute in photos as well and this comes in a set of cream and pink and the final thing is this little white handbag I think this is so cute and I like how you can carry it with the smaller strap or you can use it as a crossbody and I love the gold hardware. I think this will look so great with all of the outfits and yeah like i said i think this is my favorite haul that i've ever done i just love every single piece i'm just so excited for spring i'm so excited for warmer weather and yeah i will have everything linked in the description box and for the book mail also pay no mind to the Christmas decor. I am going to be taking that down today. Um, I received a surprise book in the mail from my friend Taylor and this is the Spanish Love Deception. I have seen this all over Bookstagram and I am so excited to read this. This is an enemies to lovers story. It also has the fake dating trope which is my favorite and there is also a wedding in Spain so it sounds incredible and I'm gonna start this tonight and basically my focus for this week is to start building my 2022 habits and I really want to focus on setting my reading routine so I am going to be reading every night before bed so so excited for that kind of a weekly recap of my reading and my reading routine so I kind of have a morning reading routine and a night reading routine so in the morning I like to wake up make my coffee or some tea and then I'll do some reading of my Bible and my daily devotional and then at night I have been really consistent with reading just like a 
chapter or two of whatever it is I'm currently reading before I go to bed and I like to light a candle and just kind of make my space nice and cozy and I really like this because it has been keeping me off my phone before I go to bed and I have been getting the best night's rest so really loving it definitely going to continue on with this little routine that i've made and i did read the first three chapters of the spanish love deception i am loving this <laughs> i love how this just jumps into the story right from the very first sentence so basically catalina has told her family that she is bringing her boyfriend to her sister's wedding but the only problem is she doesn't actually have a boyfriend so she has to find a fake date to the wedding and the very first sentence in the book is I'll be your date to the wedding so it's Aaron offering to be Catalina's date and Aaron and Catalina just have the best chemistry I can tell that this book is just going to be absolutely amazing so yes loving that and then I did finish rereading the bullet journal method and I talked a little bit about this in my previous video and I really enjoyed rereading this I gave this five out of five stars and then for the upcoming week, I'm going to continue reading The Spanish Love Deception. And then I'm also going to do a reread of Atomic Habits. I love this book and I just love the topic of habits. And these are definitely my go-to books for the start of a new year. And something else that I am going to start doing within my reading routine, I'm going to use these page tabs. So I was using these smaller page tabs, but I kind of like these better because these are better for writing down my thoughts as I go. And sometimes I'll page tab something and I'm like, what was going through my head when I tabbed this? <laughs> so I like these and I'm excited to use these. Um, so yeah, that is my first week of 2022. It's been a really good one, really productive. And let me know in the comments down below what your first read of 2022 is. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye. Bye.